this is obviously not a breakdown. This is not a reaction. This is just maybe my thoughts. My thoughts on the announcement of Mac Miller's forthcoming album that comes out on the 17th of this month, January 2020, entitled Circles, I believe. I wanted to give my thoughts on Mac Miller because he was the very first like celebrity passing that actually struck me and like made me feel something. The only other celebrity that did that same thing was Paul Walker, only because Paul Walker seemed like a really good guy. He was never really in any kind of trouble. You know, I kind of grew up with him with the Fast and the Furious movies coming out so early in my life and all the way through up until, well, I forgot what it was, like 2013, 2014. That one struck with me and that one stuck with me for some time, but Mac was like a whole nother thing. Obviously, rap music and hip hop music is a big part of my life. Movies are all well and good and all, but movie stars seem like there's that disconnect from me and a movie star because I'm not actually seeing who they are, I'm seeing the character that they're playing, which is a whole different thing. I think of a movie star's passing and I don't think about the person, I think about the talent that the person was in order to produce so many movies and act and you know change dialogue and change mannerisms, like the talent to be able to make me feel like it's not Paul Walker, like it's somebody else, it's whoever he's trying to be in the movie. That's the feeling that I get with actors, but that disconnect is there. But when it comes to rap and the hip hop artists, most of us are very well aware that it is a single person writing these lyrics. Yes, you can talk about Drake and him having ghost writers or him having assistants to brainstorm on like different lines and thoughts and what have you. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. But for the most part, most rappers, I would say like 80 to 90 percent of all rhymes written are written by themselves so we're getting that person we're getting who they are we're getting their struggles we're getting their demons we're getting their highs we're getting their lows and mac miller was one of the dudes that i came up with in age like i believe he was right around my age when he died so when he passed it like hit me hard like it was to the point where not necessarily cry because i obviously didn't know the guy but i felt extremely sad because one we lost an amazing talent mac miller didn't like put out music he put out like music if you know what i mean like his music was like musicianship it wasn't just writing raps it wasn't just like putting on some trap beat and like writing and like creating hits. Every song of Mac Miller's, especially toward the like latter half of his career, now the latter half of his career with him passing, his albums were extremely thought out. You could tell that there was a certain amount of craftsmanship. You could tell that there was a certain amount of love and care that we don't get in rap music a lot of the time. A lot of rap is braggadocious. A lot of rap is going to be extremely emotional in some standpoints, but not emotions that most people can connect with. Like for example, Polo G. Right now, he's probably one of the biggest up and coming rappers in the game but he connects with a whole completely different audience. It's like pain rap in the hood. We have people like Kanye West putting out different types of raps as well that are extremely emotional and moving, but again, it's a whole nother level of stratosphere. Mac Miller just felt like a normal dude. He felt like a normal dude just like you and me. He felt like a normal dude just like, like just a guy that you would be friends with. And that's what hurt the most, I think, is the fact that like I felt like I had lost a close friend that I had grown up listening to. Like I heard him from all the way from his kids mixtape all the way through swimming. Like, and I heard the progress and the progression and the style evolution and him become a full fledged adult from being a kid. And that like resonated and hit deep within me. And I know it sounds ridiculous to say that I like, I guess came to terms or was coming to terms with a celebrity's death because I don't know that person, you know, personally. The only other example that I could think about is like when Kawhi Leonard left the Spurs. Like all of San Antonio, Texas felt hurt. We felt like we were like bamboozled by Kawhi Leonard and his team. But lately I've come to terms with the fact that he just wanted to play basketball at home. He wanted to go home to California, be around his family and play basketball. And like, who could be mad at that forever? So that's the same feeling I had with Max death. It made me think that people that I know that are facing demons, we could lose them just as fast as we lost Mac Miller because Mac Miller was facing a decent amount of demons within himself. But I had finally come to terms with his passing and the whole thing. And here we get out of nowhere that there's gonna be a post death after he passed Mac Miller album. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything after swimming ever again from Mac Miller. I just felt like his team and his family and his friends and his fans like, it's not, we're not the type of fan base, I guess you can say Mac Miller's fan base, where we want like all the content that he's ever made and we want it all put out because at a certain point, putting out a lot of post-death albums, it feels very cheap. It feels like very gross to me in the fact like, it feels like a cash grab. 
Like, yes, one album post-death that he was making an album for, okay, but multiple albums post-death, like after Michael Jackson died, we still had like hits coming out. After XXX Tentacion died, that was another one that caught me like, damn, that dude could have been something big in the music industry. But I didn't really have the same feeling with X as I do with Mac because he had a lot of controversial issues surrounding him. With X, I had to separate the art from the artist. The same thing I have to do with Kanye sometimes. Like I have to separate the fact that Kanye could be a musical genius and put out hits, but his personality is not the type that I would want to be around. Same thing I got with X, but you can't deny that X was changing the game. But after like his family and his mom and like everybody was putting out and keeping his social medias alive and after a certain point, it felt like a cash grab. So I felt like Mac Miller's family would not put us through that. And for the most part, they didn't. His social medias froze, his social media stopped when he passed away. So this album Circles, when I had first heard that it was coming out, I was very like iffy about it because I didn't want it to feel like a cash grab. I know Mac Miller had like a very specific style and he was very heavily involved in the production of his album. It wasn't like pick a beat from a producer, we're gonna go on top of that. It was more like I want to be heavily invested in the production of this album. So my hand and my signature and my sound is all interwoven within the sound of the album. If you listen to Swimming, it's very orchestral, but not like in an NF way where NF's orchestral sound is very like, it's very heavy, it's very big. This is more like intimate. And that was something that I liked about Mac Miller's music was the intimacy. It felt like he was a superstar, but when I listened to his albums, we connected one-on-one -on -one right there. His NPR Tiny Desk concert in my mind goes down in the history is like one of the best concerts that I've ever seen and I wasn't even there live. But the note that came with the social media update talking about the coming album, it definitely eased my mind. You know, it's talking about how the producer that was helping Mac Miller produce the album, once he passed, like dropped everything to help the album come to fruition. And it's a, it's the second part to swimming. The whole concept, if you haven't read the Instagram post, is swimming in circles. So Mac Miller had already pre-recorded most of the album and they were putting the album together when he passed. That helped me kind of like think, all right, he still has a heavy hand in what's happening with this album. And it just doesn't feel like a cash grab to me. That's why I'm like excited for the album, but I know it's gonna be very emotional for like most Mac Miller fans. Cause Mac Miller fans, just like Eminem fans, just like NF fans, that's the level of dedication that Mac Miller fans have to his music. So it's gonna be an extremely emotional experience for a lot of people. There's gonna be a lot of crying. There's gonna be a lot of Instagram stories about it. There's gonna be a lot of tweets about it, but that's not a bad thing in this case. In this case, everybody who's a Mac Miller fan is gonna to come together and basically be like one virtual family on the day the album releases. You're gonna feel the family vibes of Mac Miller's fan base all at once. And I think that that's dope. So if you've never listened to Swimming, I don't know what you're doing, like definitely go listen to it. It's a vibe, you'll understand what I'm saying about the musicianship, you'll understand what I'm saying about the music, about the lyricism. The dude is not a rapper, the dude is a straight up musician. And that's the lane that he like carved for himself and that's what his fans adored him for. So I'm excited. So am I emotionally ready for the album? Probably not, I can say that I am, but who knows until the album comes out and we, find, and we hear Mac Miller's voice again. You always hear songs, you always hear albums, post death, post hummus, is that how it's said? You always hear it in a completely different light because you're like, this person is no longer with us. We got new music from a person who died. So that always feels kind of weird. So the emotional aspect, who knows what's gonna happen there. Is it gonna be fire? I think so, because Swimming was by far one of the best albums of the year last year. If this is the second part of that two-part album series, like the Swimming in Circles thing, I don't expect it to be any different or any less. These two albums supposedly go hand in hand, like they complement each other. So that'll be exciting to be able to dive in the album and then re-listen to Swimming and understand what's going on between the two and just relive the Mac Miller new music experience once again. And when the album comes out on the 17th, expect an album review because I and we and you, we've built a little bit of a following here. We're at like 43, 44, 45,000 subscribers. And one of my favorite things about this channel there's three favorite things that I like to do on this channel. Four things actually. Connect with new people online, be able to pass on my, I guess you could quote unquote call expertise and my understanding of interpretation of the lyrics. I like to help people whose English is not their first language. They live in another country or they understand English. They like hip hop, but they don't understand the deep like nuances of the lyrics because English is a complicated language. Sometimes the double entendres, the double meanings, the similes and metaphors, they can fly over people's heads. They fly over people's heads who speak English as their primary language 
much less their secondary language. I already forgot what the fourth one was. Oh, the fourth one was that I like to show music to people who never thought that they would ever listen to certain artists or never gave a certain artist the time of day because I feel like Mac Miller fits directly in that category. But that's it, guys. Thank you for being on the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Like I always say, like and leave a comment on the video. It helps the algorithm catch this channel. It helps the algorithm catch this video. Recommended in the recommended panel. If you check out other videos and you like what you see, consider subscribing because this is kind of how this channel works around here. You get a dip into my mind versus just me reacting or me giving an emotional feedback. I want to give y'all dialogue and give y'all things that you can actually think about. But other than that, guys, I appreciate y'all's time. I know this is not a typical reaction. We'll be back to reactions and breakdowns on the next video, but Mac Miller meant something to me and this album caught me by surprise, so I wanted to give my thoughts on it. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, guys and gals, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. Rest in peace, Mac Miller, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.